We are developing a new patented power source based on injecting and reacting atomic hydrogen with a catalyst to form a more stable chemical state hydrogen gas called hydrino that we have isolated and characterized by multiple spectroscopies and analytical methodologies. On September 15th, we showed the first internal field trial of our 250 kilowatt sun cell thermal reactor with a molten gallium to water heat transfer system to produce boiling water and steam on a continuous basis for the planned 45 minute duration of the trial. The trial demonstrated the successful implementation of two breakthrough innovations of one, a means to condition the inflowing reactants of hydrogen gas and trace oxygen gas to form atomic hydrogen fuel and nascent water molecules. These are molecules not hydrogen bonded to one another that serve as catalysts to accept a resonant transfer of energy from atomic hydrogen to form hydrinos at 200 times the energy release compared to burning the hydrogen. And two, a means to suppress hydrino product inhibition. On September 18th, we ran four sun cells simultaneously as a second internal field trial of our 250 kilowatt thermal reactor with a molten gallium to water heat transfer system to also produce boiling water and steam on a continuous basis. Three sun cells were run for the planned 60 minute duration. Another was run for the planned 120 minute duration. A real time five minute excerpt of one run is shown in this video. Inspection of the sun cells following the run showed that they were in mint condition and ready for the next trials. We plan to run a series of internal field trials in preparation for deploying sun cells to commercial customers for them to perform field trials in their own facilities. Our first market objective is the thermal market, then the electrical market achieved by mating the sun cell to a gas heat exchanger and a micro turbine. In addition to the present water-based coolant system, we are currently working on a molten gallium to air heat exchanger with a large heat exchanger manufacturer. The ability to produce variable temperature air from 100 degrees centigrade to 800 degrees centigrade will enable us to serve the balance of thermal markets as well as power the microturbine. Following field trials, we plan to make the clean, inexpensive power widely available by outsourcing manufacturing, installation, and maintenance of the sun cells provided under a power generator lease. More details on commercial engineering of the molten metal heat exchanger, the gas turbine power system, and also our vastly superior proprietary magnetohydrodynamic power conversion system that could ultimately supplant mechanical electrical power conversion are given in our business overview presentation.